So let's talk about the anatomy of your lumbar spine. This is the spine in your lower back. Here's a front view of the lumbar spine. This is old George here. We've got five bones, L1, L2, L3, L4, L5. There are disc spaces in between this kind of spongy, rubbery stuff, which actually pretty much looks like what disc spaces are. Notice the bones down here. This is your pelvis. This is what they call the sacrum. All right. And remember, the lumbar spine's job is to act as sort of the eye beam of your body. It takes all the force, all the pressure that your head, your torso, and your abdomen have, all that weight, and it takes that weight and transfers it down to your pelvis over here, which is then going to go down to your hips and feet and finally hit the ground. So it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, holding a lot of force there. So you have these big blocks of bone here. These are so-called vertebral bodies, big chunks of bone that simply act as structural elements. The discs in between allow you to bend and flex and rotate. Okay, so you can like dance ballet if you want to. And um, we're going to look at the back of your spine now here. This is your lumbar spine from the back, and you'll notice you have this roof of bone, okay, or the yellow stuff is the bag of water that contains your nerves, the so-called thecal sac that contains not your spinal cord, but all of the nerves that then go to feed your legs, and that's called a cauda equina because uh, ancient anatomists thought that those nerves looked like a horse's tail. They probably did a lot of mushrooms back then. Uh, but in any event, the cauda equina uh, are the nerves that run in the thecal sac of your back. They're covered by the lamina, which is this roof of bone over here, which gives you some protection. Um, the uh, lamina has sticking out of it. Let's look at the side view now. Okay, here's the side view of your lumbar spine. Sticking out the back of the lamina are these little flanges, so-called spinous processes, which is very nice because it gives your muscles a nice place to uh, hang on to, and then when your muscles contract, it'll help you turn your spine with a lot less energy. Little engineering trick there. Also looking at the side, you see these joints over here. Okay, there's a joint, there's a joint over there. These are the so-called facet joints when people talk about facet hypertrophy and stuff like that. That's what they're talking about. These, again, are joints that sit kind of uh, on the side and behind, and they'll allow you to flex and rotate and uh, do things like that. You have these little yellow nerves coming out the side. Remember the cauda equina? Well, this is the continuation of the cauda equina. Same nerves, just in a different place. And it's going out through a little hole in the side of your spine. This is the so-called foramen, which is Latin for hole. It's like that old country and western song, Since You Left Me, There's Been a Foramen in My Heart. Okay, same idea. Um, notice, by the way, that there's a nice curvature of the lumbar spine. This is a normal curvature, so-called lordotic curvature, and this is what you want to see. You don't want that lumbar spine straightened out necessarily, okay? And notice also that that curvature takes all this force that your body is providing just by weight and puts it right onto the pelvis, the so-called S1, the first sacral vertebra, which then distributes it down around your pelvis to the ring of your pelvis, to your hips, and then down to your feet and to the ground. So this is a quick overview of your lumbar spine. Let's go over it again. You've got the front view with the five bones, big blocks of bone that take all that weight. You've got your discs in between, which allows some mobility of your spine, okay? Now your lumbar spine from behind. You have the thecal sac containing the nerves, the so-called cauda equina and that is covered by a roof of bone called the lamina, okay, over here. And then the side view, which shows the facet joints kind of behind and to the side, posterior lateral as they say, and right in front of that is the foramen, the hole that the nerve uses to get out of your spine so it can feed your body. And also there should be a nice curvature, backwards curvature, so-called lordotic curvature of your lumbar spine, and that's a quick overview of normal lumbar spine anatomy.